Hey everyone, and welcome to another one of my little vlogs. Um, today I promised you a rant about Dells, and you're going to get one. First thing, the fans. There are two fans, um, and to make either of them work efficiently, I will have to develop magical powers. And I didn't get my Hogwarts acceptance letter for another year. It's just, you know, whoever is, uh, you know, whoever's uh, principal now, McGonagall, or Neville, it's it's just getting a bit of a joke now. I've been waiting, what, like, eight years now? Almost nine years? Come on. Unless that comes, you know, within the next few days, this situation will just get worse. And the fans are blocked, which they will be because they're both on the bottom. It overheats. And then it just shuts down spontaneously. You know, there's a surprise, but it's spontaneity. You know, it's not good. Another thing is it's really slow to up to load up. Um, and it made me delete my sidebar, which I really liked. I had a really whimsical clock going on. It was like a little pink monster. I named him Kristen. Okay, so you didn't really need to know that. That's why I'm annoyed at Dell. Annoyed at Dell. On to the next port of call today, which is nicer. And it's these. I can get them all in a shot at once because they're so awesome. These. From a London scented nail varnishes. This is the one I'm wearing at the minute. It's Lemon Drop. They have such sweet names. Lemon Drop. And normally I don't wear yellow because they make you look like you have a nail infection, which isn't the best look. Trust me. So, then this is a really cool type of lemon. It doesn't have the strongest smell, but once you get a good smell of it, it's really lemony and sweet and citrusy and it's really good. This one is apricot pot. Yeah, apricot punch. And it's really nice on it. It's like a burnt orangey color and it's gorgeous. And I, when you smell it, it kind of has a hint of spice. Kind of spicy smell. Like I really smell pepper or something. Next one is strawberry fizz. Told you about the names. They're just a die for. This is really cool. Normally I don't wear pink. But I love this pink, and it smells gorgeous. They all smell good enough to eat. If I could eat nail varnish and not die afterwards, I would do this. This is Cranberry Zest. This is the one I've been wearing for quite a while. It's my first one I got. And in some of my Makeup Friday videos, you can see that I'm wearing it. One of my, one of the later ones. And it's gorgeous. I love the color as well. It's kind of like a, um, a dark pink with hints of red in it. It's gorgeous. Close up. Okay, next I'm going to talk about... Um, um, uh, iPod app. I think you can get it for your iPhone as well. And your iPad, probably. Um, and it's called iStudios Pro. It's absolutely great. It's good for anyone, especially uni people. What you do is you put in all your, it merges your calendar, your regular calendar, and your like you're all your classes together. So what I've got here is on the 23rd of September, I'm assuming the classes for me start on the 20th, like that week. So I'm really busy on the 23rd and 24th. So what I have here is I've 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 put up all day. It's the start of, oh, I don't know. You can't see that. Okay. Well, um, on the 23rd of September, I have, for my normal calendar, I put down the Big Bang Theory Season 4 starts, which I'm so excited about. I have two classes that day. There's two little dots beside their name and they're both colour coded. So, um, Sex and the City of God, which sounds like an amazing module. I'll tell you about that later when I actually start it. It sounds like so much fun. But that is a red, that has a red dot beside it. And when I click on that, it's a lecture, so it has like a little lecture podium beside it. I would really recommend buying that. It's like 159 or something. But it would really keep you right with uni stuff and with A-level stuff, it would really, really help you. Second, oh, third actually, oh, the battery's just falling out, um, is the Empire Magazine, the October Empire Magazine. It is, I can't believe it's 10 points, it's $10 in America. <laughs> I just can't believe that. God, you guys are just ripped off. It has a Harry Potter feature, which is actually on the cover, and it's the long goodbye. Actually, I'm really sad about Harry Potter being over. Um, the good thing is it has a full page devoted to Emma's face. That's great. Sorry, I have such a girl crush on Emma. You will know this from previous videos, but anyway, let's not talk about that. Um, there's a quote that she said 
and everyone is up in arms about it and I don't really see why. Um, she said, Harry Potter, it's not Twilight, you know, we're not selling sex. And in her defence, Twilight has more sex in it than Harry Potter does. I don't agree with it that Twilight's selling sex, I don't really think so, I think, well, well, no, well, no, no, I don't think it was really, because Edward and Bella were in a normal, you know, boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. They're completely in love, and, you know, it's just a natural step, you know, when you feel that comfortable with someone, and you're that in love with someone as Bella and Edward were, you know. It's a natural step. Um, especially when you get married, it's a natural step, you know. I don't agree with the thing that Twilight's selling sex, I don't really think that's true. Um... But Emma, Emma's a really big fan of Twilight. Um, it doesn't. She doesn't really overemphasize it that much. Um, I don't think. Because I don't think she. I don't. Well, I don't really know why. I'm sure there's. Lo I'm sure there's millions of, like, reasons why. But she doesn't really overemphasize that she's a fan of Twilight. Um, but she did say, um, in a quote in an interview, she said that once she'd finished reading Twilight or, or the series of books, she didn't know what to do. You know, she didn't know what else to read. And that was, for any Twilight fan who has read the books, you will know that that was, you know, that was the general consensus. You know, I didn't know what to read after reading Twilight. I was like, oh my god, what do I read? What will be as good as this? Um, but you know, I got over it. I went to rehab. You know, find Harry Potter again. I'm such an awkward winker. So, don't hate on Emma Watson for saying that. I know Twilight fans can be really, you know, grrr, but just leave her alone. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. There are far stronger comments about Twilight, hate comments, may I add, about Twilight that I have heard come from other celebrities and stuff, so... It's just going to be that whole Emma Roberts thing again, when Emma Roberts said that she was Team Jacob. How dare she say that? Big deal. I was Team Jacob for a while, but then, actually, going back to Shane Dawson, he actually reminded me that we should all be Team Edward. He said, like, and it is true, Edward was willing to die for her. Edward was willing to fight for her. Edward was willing to kill for her when he didn't really want to kill. Remember James in the first one? But he was willing to kill people for Emma. Emma? Kristen. Bella. And all Jacob does is take off his shirt. I love Taylor. I love Taylor as a person. He's so gorgeous and he's such a lovely person. But for that reason, I would be Team Edward. You know. Okay, so that's my rant over. And yes, for all the comments that are going to come in saying I look like crap, I know. Um, but it is Sunday. Day of rest. Day of no makeup and not doing anything with your hair. There's new Makeup Friday is up. Go check it out. It's the MTV Movie Awards 2010. Um, I'm going to try and film a video for this Friday. Hopefully I'll get it done. It's the MTV Movie Awards 2010. 2009, sorry. I keep getting those two mixed up. I realized that, um, on my other videos, on my makeup videos, I'm really serious. And my face is just stone. And there is often little smiles and stuff, which I kind of have to force. Because I'm concentrating so hard that I forget to smile. And I forget to have any facial expression whatsoever. So, I want this channel to show off my fun side. Because I do have a good sense of humor. I just never show it in my makeup videos. So, um, I'll talk to you guys soon. And hope you're having, hope everyone who's back to school is having a good time. And whoever's back at uni, you're all so lucky. And I can't wait to be back. I really need to be back. I can't wait for Friday to move in. And I can't wait for the 20th to actually start classes. Geek. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. And stop.